Brogdon, and he's a Romanian who has never done Romanian deadlifts before, which is very odd. However, important that we got him doing them because he's got hamstring issues. So with Rogdon's knee, it's an ACL recon, five years down the track, and he's still got a weak hamstring group, and that's affecting him when he jumps. And I'm gonna show you the jumping in a minute, but I wanna show you the testing of his hamstring so you can see how weak it is. So, have a line in your front for me. Now, with people who have had hamstring grafts for their ACL, they are gonna be genetically modified from the surgery, so they've got a permanent difference in their hamstring strength because of the tendon graft. So most people will get up to about 80, 90% of their strength. We're gonna have a look at Bogdan's and he's gonna tell us what he thinks his is. This is his right, this is his good leg. So what I do is I test them in 90 degrees. They're gonna do knee flexion using the hamstring, trying to resist me and I'm gonna pull as hard as I can. Go, so I'm gonna try that. Good, relax, so he's pretty good. Okay, five out of five. Hold it there, we test outer range, go. And I can hardly push him down, okay? So one arm shouldn't be able to push him down to the ground. If he's got good strength and he's an athlete, he should be fine. Left one, bend your knee. Okay, so pull up, go. Okay, so he can hold mid-range. Remember, mid-range, the hamstring is shorter. It's gonna be stronger. Out of range, different story. Push, go. And he can straighten down, okay? So <laughs> which makes him very disappointed. Out of 100? Uh, 60. Okay, so that one's 100, this one's 60. So he's reporting about 60% loss. Now, that's going to affect him with every jumping thing he's going to do because you need your hamstring when you jump. And I'm going to show you what happens. So jump up here for me. So he's at the stage where he's doing single leg box jumps with rotations. So it's right through the ACL program. And he's doing them but he needs more hamstring work and he's been working on the hamstring stuff, so that's actually better than was three weeks ago, okay, because he's working on his hamstring work because he knows he has to do it. But I want to show you what happens to his hamstring. So when he jumps on your good leg, so your right leg, he's going to do a box jump, rotation, and then off. So I'll show you what that means. This is the good leg, watch this. Okay, so try it again, show him again for me. You're looking at speed. And agility, one, straight off, perfect, looking good. Go left. Okay, he's just a bit slower, okay? And he feels like it's slug, is it sluggish? You yeah. call it sluggish? So he just doesn't have the power and the speed in it because this hamstring is sitting at 60%. So what I want to have a look at is we're gonna, you know, the hamstring worker's gotta improve that because if he's going back to play sport, that needs to improve, otherwise he's gonna be sluggish around the court and the knee's not gonna like it. Um, the other thing too is I'm getting him to do box jumps with more hamstring, okay? So instead of just jumping up and using your quads and your calf, I'm trying to force him to use his hamstring more, all right? And I'll show you the strength difference again. So he's gonna do a jump on one leg and he's gonna use his hamstring to do a flick to come up. So instead of just jumping, he's gonna jump and flick, and if you're with the right one, he should get his heel to his bum. So you watch this one. So you see how high he got that? So you got jump all the way up, flick, land on the box. Left one, ACL. Okay, now you can see that, just do it again for the viewers. Can you see this like, again, half 60%, of range because he just doesn't have the strength to get it up there. Plus, a bit of stiffness in the knee doesn't help either, okay? So the hamstring is trying to work on a bit of a stiff joint. It's gonna be a bit of resistance and a bit sluggish. So some of that's knee stiffness. Some of it, hamstring weakness, a lot of it, and some of it is neural, okay? So the more he practices and gets it going, that'll fix that pattern movement. If he keeps his knee mobility going, fix the knee mobility movement, and he works on his hamstring strength, he'll work on the hamstring component. So the whole thing will improve if he works on all those three areas, okay?